Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Makesh's Tech Space. Today I am going to show you how to protect and speed up your WordPress website. We're going to use a service called Cloudflare to do that. Um, now Cloudflare, if you don't know, um, actually can protect and optimize any website. It doesn't just have to be a WordPress website. But today we're going to focus on WordPress and I will walk you through three uh, steps or configurations that you can do within Cloudflare to secure and optimize your WordPress site a bit. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, to get started, the first thing you will do is head on over to cloudflare.com. Uh, once you arrive on their page, click on the sign up and go ahead and walk through the sign up uh, account creation process. Uh, you'll need an email, set up a password, and then uh, probably some verifications through email. And once you have done all that, you will be able to log in. And once you log in, you'll arrive on the dashboard of uh, Cloudflare. So after you have logged in, you'll be um, taken to this initial page, your home page. Um, as you can see, we don't have any websites configured yet. So the first thing we'll need to do is add a website. Uh, so go ahead and click on add a site. Here you will type in the domain name of your website. We'll continue using our sample domain. Click on add a site and go ahead and click on next. Um, on this uh, page, you select a plan. Uh, there's a free plan. So confirm the plan. Hit the purchase option. And this is where it uh, does a query for your DNS records, your um, service records. So it found a bunch for my sample domain name. It found over. Now, if it did not bring over certain records, so you would want to open up your DNS records from your registrar, like, and they may have extra records that um, uh, Cloudflare was not able to pull. So at that point, you can add those records here, um, selecting the type of record and then the information. And you can copy and paste that over from, if you have a different tab open, you can do that and go ahead and click on add a record. Uh, once you have verified all of this, click on continue and then comes to the part where um, you need to make uh, certain changes on your uh, registrar to actually uh, activate Cloudflare uh, services. So um, right now, what it's asking us to do is take every take our current settings that is set up with name.com, which is where I um, keep all my domains, um, to Cloudflare services. So it's so these are the two items that we need to do on our registrar. So I'll show you how to do that. And so here we are. I'm logged into uh, my uh, domain account uh, on name.com. And I will ha head on over to name servers. And here you can uh, see that currently um, name.com is handling uh, the name or DNS services for this domain. So I will want to go ahead and delete all of these and uh, go ahead and copy this one. Add a new name server. Copy second one. All right, so both of those are there. Finally, to um, activate the changes, click on Apply. Changes are successful. Um, so wait a few hours, and uh, once it has done that, it should uh, indicate that here, and then we can continue further um, uh, configuring this on Cloudflare. So we'll see you once this is done. All right, uh, so once the name server changes have taken effect, you should see a green bar here and the status as active. That means Cloudflare, Cloudflare has been configured correctly. Um, now, the optimization and security settings that we want to do for WordPress will be on this page rules tab. And we are going to create three page rules. And that's what's included in our free account. Um, if you need more page rules, then uh, likely need to buy 
additional pack of five page rules that's five dollars a month uh, but the three optimizations that we'll go through today um, you won't need to do that um, the three are we're, we'll secure WP admin uh, we will um, configure caching at the edge level as well, well as the browser level and uh, we will secure the WordPress login screen uh, or login page um, as well so those are the three rules that we'll configure in here so let's get started okay so let's create the first uh, page rule uh, securing the WP admin URL so create a page rule type in your domain name and then our WP admin URL and then we'll put an asterisk saying cover everything that starts um, after WP admin uh, go ahead and add a setting pick a setting we will pick security level and we'll set that to high we can add another setting as well and what we want to do here is uh, cache level uh, we don't want uh, Cloudflare to be caching anything in the WP admin uh, so we'll go ahead and bypass that then we also want to come back in here and we want to disable apps and we also want to disable performance these two settings just help WP admin functionality remain intact uh, while it's going through Cloudflare uh, not having these could cause some functionality or plugins to um, uh, to not work correctly so just kind of just uh, um, adding these two should uh, should help with uh, minimizing any kind of issues on that side so once you have your settings configured like this go ahead and hit save and deploy and sometimes it takes a few seconds and uh, that should be on the second uh, setting we will configure is for the WP login uh, we'll create another page rule let's go ahead and type in our domain again and then WP login page then we will just put an asterisk just to say anything uh, off of this URL we'll add a setting and we will pick security level and we'll main, make that as high so hit save and deploy there and once it's applied it should have um, uh, both of those turned on so now the third item that we will configure is caching uh, edge caching and browser caching caching edge caching uh, basically is caching on Cloudflare itself so it Cloudflare will take copies of your content and store it on their servers um, and the, the term edge comes from uh, the nearest point to where the visitor is coming from so edge caching and then browser caching is a cache that your browser maintains of uh, of static co uh, content so we're going to configure both of those create a page rule and we will target the work uh, the WP uploads uh, area uh, so we will type in our domain and then we know it's WP content and then uploads and we'll put an asterisk to cover everything after the uploads URL and then we'll pick edge cache TTL and then we'll cache that um, so this here um, you know it could be different for different websites uh, your unique website could be different if you update your site quite often uh, you know several times a day then you probably want to pick something in the hours if you only update it once a week or um, every other day then you can pick something down here what suits your content refresh cycle um, if you hardly ever change content it's very static then you just go down to the the highest level which is a month let's just say for for our demo purpose here for seven days cache the content after seven days Cloudflare will go and fetch the new content uh, second thing we'll set up is browser cache and we'll put that at um, again it depends on how you how how fast or how quick frequently you update your content but let's for our demo purposes uh, four hours 
and what to cache. We will just say cache everything. So hit save and deploy. Okay. So guys, these are the top three techniques to secure your WordPress site as well as speed it up. Uh, there are a few more tweaks that, or I guess a few more uh, page rules that you can add for your WordPress website uh, here, but I won't show you those. Um, I'll put a link down to a, a blog site uh, that uh, describes those. If you choose to do them, you can do those. Um, like I said, you'll have to uh, probably buy more page rules for those but um, I'll leave that up to you. I was talking about caching and uh, you know in in this rule here you could uh, you should really uh, this rule it's this rule uh, this rule here you should uh, configure these cache uh, uh, levels or cache timeouts um, to something that's optimized for your for your um, frequency of content updates. Uh, one thing you could do is uh, as I mentioned you could go all the way up to a month save and deploy that and whenever you do make content updates, you could always come to this tab here, caching, and you can give it, uh, uh, you know, you can uh, purge everything, give it a command to say, take everything out of your servers Cloudflare and get a fresh copy of my site. Or you can click on this button, which provides you the ability to cache certain URLs or purge certain URLs that are cached. Um, so this will help in the event that uh, you know you have something cached for a long period of time but then you had to come back and update it um, and uh, you want to tell Cloudflare to get the newest copy otherwise your visitors will still see the old copy since Cloudflare will be serving the static version of that site out or the cached version of that page out. So with that guys these are the top three page rules that we can configure for WordPress. Um, there are several more um, uh, rules that uh, can also be configured. I didn't show you those here, but I will link to an article down in the description below that you can check out. And if you choose to apply those page rules, you can buy more, more of those and then go ahead and apply them. All right, guys, uh, well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and also click on that bell icon so that you get notified when I create more videos. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, uh, tutorials that I could make, uh, also post them down below. But so until next time, thanks for watching.